What's up guys, GoPro Dave HD here and today I'm going to show you a quick video tutorial on how to edit and create a time lapse in the VDub or Virtual Dub uh, time lapse software. So the main reason why I'm using this is because the uh, GoPro Cineform Studio is terrible and Virtual Dub seems to be the best, it's open source and it works for free. So there's a few things, uh, previously you might want to edit your photographs in like Lightroom or Photoshop, just adjust the levels. This is purely just a, a Time lapse compilation um, software. So, what I find best is if you let's go up to a folder here. If you create a specific folder for it, it seems to work best. And if you have them in sequence by number here, so I have you know one, one, two, one, two, one, three, one, four, etc. That somehow seems to make it work better. It, uh, it generally just uploads one photograph to the time lapse at a time if you don't have the numbers in sequence. So, double click on the icon and they should all flow up. And uh, I'm going to resize this to. There you go to 12%. We're gonna go 16 by 9 wide, and both sides are all okay. And now, so what you want to do, uh, depending on your frame rate, what you want to work, you're gonna go edit frame rate. I'm gonna go 30 FPS here. Now, 30 FPS. I'll give a little test play of that. Yeah, it's okay. It, when the full render happens, it's it's generally a lot more smoother. This is purely just the uh, the compilation software. Then you want to edit it. So for YouTube, Vimeo, most going to upload servers like that. Uh, you want to go into filters. You can go add. What do I want to add? We go down to we have resize. There we go. So resize. I already have these uh, fields predefined. So you want to go 1920 by 1080. Uh, for for HD format, you want to go for the YouTube player and, and other players online. It's 16 by 9 format, the aspect ratio. Uh, 4 by 3 will end up cropping it in the, the video player. So make sure you go for 16 by 9. Double check, cross crop to aspect ratio again is 16.9. And then pretty much, uh, you you've got your your settings already set up there. And oh, and adjust it on the output. So this is the input right here and out here on, on the left hand side is your input and on the right hand side which is expanding here is your output so this is what the final format is going to be like so if you click down here the uh, the bottom left hand corner the, the second of the two uh, play arrows will play both videos simultaneously and this will play the output of the format and um, so while that's loading and playing uh, I, I took these uh, pictures from about 7 30 to 8 30 in the evening there's about a thousand photographs overall um, that I, that I took of the uh, Dublin city skyline from where was it Ticknock Woods somewhere up Tree Rock Mountain there in Dublin. Um, so what I, you're going to do next uh, after you okay, I'm going to stop that there. So you have your files input. You have your files in one specific folder specifically for this virtual dub time lapse. You have them all numbered in sequence, so like one to infinity, whatever your number is. You make sure that your video is output to whatever frame rate per second you want. I picked 30 FPS. I find that's pretty smooth. Uh, I took this time lapse at one second intervals. Uh, you can adjust them to you know whatever you want. Uh, and then again, click on the filters, and you want to make sure what your your resize shape is. So I clicked 16 by 9, and it's 1080p for HD video. And this file you want to save as AVI. The uh, virtual dub only saves as uh, AVI, but when you go into your own video editing software, whether it's Vegas or Cyberlink Power Director or something like that, then you can convert it into MP4 or whatever else you want. So for this, I'm going to rename it um, YouTube Time Lapse Tutorial, and I'm going to save that in F. Where do I have a GoPro project? And we will say Time Lapse, and yeah, we'll upload it onto here. So when that happens, it gives you a little status bar. And that's pretty much it. It's going to process, it's going to play in an AVI mode. It takes a couple of minutes to the speed of your computer. So I've got 916 frames here, and as you see, it uploads them in a couple of, a couple of frames per second. Here we have 2.15 frames per second, and that's pretty much it. It's a uh, virtual dub. It's, it's very basic, but it works 10 times better than any of the other software I've used. The, uh, the GoPro Cineform Studio, or the S GoPro Studio 2.0, whatever they call it now, it keeps crashing, especially on Windows 7. It is absolutely terrible. And all the other software I tried, it just wasn't really working, but Virtual Dub, I have to give a 10 out of 10, it works pretty decent. So at the end of this video, I'm going to let this skip, because nobody wants to watch uh, like 7 minutes worth of video process and rendering. I'm going to show you the final product and do a little overall talk about it at the end. So, uh, thanks for watching, 
And here we have the final product. Uh, I'm playing it back at 30 FPS, which I think gives a nice smooth movement to the clouds. You can go faster if you want to make hyperlapse or what have you. Um, but that's pretty much it for me. I hope this was somewhat helpful in a simple um, tutorial on how to use Virtual Dub. I will try and link a description on the bottom where to download it. It is open source and it's free. And uh, that's all for me. So please like this video if you do like it. Uh, comment and subscribe. And thanks for watching.